Hi, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I am doing your new moon reading for March 2021. And I'm calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And what's going on already? Aries, Leo, and Sag, we are finding out what kind of energy is around you this month for your new moon. At the end, I'm going to be answering three questions. So I'll give you a heads up so you can pause the video and get your questions ready. And I'll do a yes or no. And then I'll talk a little bit about the energy around whatever that question is for you. But right now, let's see what kind of energy is around you. In present time for your new moon in March. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Let's see. Okay. The first thing that I'm noticing, fire signs, is your Empress is in reverse. So the big picture is talking about some kind of worthiness issue, some kind of self-esteem stuff going on with you, affecting the energy around the new moon. Okay, so coming from a place of, it looks like some kind of karma has been completed, coming from a place of, <clears throat> excuse me, fire signs, coming from a place of completing something that was old, in order to step into something that is new. So your higher self is talking about also, um, there's some kind of some kind of anger or some kind of retribution energy. It's almost like somebody was angered or upset. This can also be dealing with fear energy, but it can literally be unplugging emotionally, unplugging energy from someone because of, um, I'm hearing contempt. Okay, so your angels and guides are talking about a veil being lifted. So some kind of veil being lifted or some kind of um, secret being revealed. And when I'm looking at resistance, it's like I have resistance to self-sabotage. And fire signs, this could very well be momentum forward around possibly not taking responsibility for your part in a situation. But of course, this could also be somebody else is not taking responsibility for their part in a situation. So it's like I have resistance to self-sabotage. I have resistance to outing myself kind of thing. So whatever it is that you're dealing with, fire signs. And then I want to talk about the heart of the situation. There is some kind of... Ooh, Oh, I just had a card fly out onto the floor. And it's uh, it's the seeking truth. Seeking truth. This is the storm in the castle with the truth card right before I talk about the heart of the situation. It's like somebody's offering love, but they're not offering the whole enchilada. It's like they offered love, but they didn't think it through. And whether that's you or whether that's somebody else, it's like, I'm offering love, but I'm not doing the work that it requires to maintain it. And somebody is trying to seek the truth and storm the castle with the truth when it doesn't look like it's fully realized. Let's see. Yeah, here's the chariot reversed. It's like there's some kind of challenge in getting the truth or in getting this, the whole shebang. I just want to say happening now and into the near future, it looks like there's going to be some grounding around this situation. So there is some grounding, there is some understanding, there is some feeling of peace or, you know, solid sound foundation around what was missing, what kind of information was missing, what the challenge was around uh, the energy, the energy block. Okay, so past, present, future. In the past, it's talking about juggling, juggling two things, being in two different worlds at the same time. And the present time 
energy is talking about uh, heart chakras being protected and kind of like this moment of silence. So it's like my heart is closed or shut down or I'm not exposing my heart and there's a moment of silence. I'm not saying anything or speaking about this. I'm also not making any moves. I'm not uh, kind of like, I don't know what to do. So I'm not doing anything kind of feeling. And then the trajectory is getting crystal clear on your intention, getting crystal clear on how you want this to move forward and what it is that you want by your signs. Okay. So what I want to do is get a little clarification with the Lenormand. And I want to ask a little bit more about this Queen of Wands reversed, your higher self saying, yeah, um, somebody did me wrong or I, my ego was upset or bruised or somebody hurt my feelings. Um, I didn't get what it was that I wanted. And there's something having to do with um, information in a letter or an email or a text. It's like, um, I, I didn't get, this also could be disclosure. Here's crossroads with that too. It's like, they're <laughs> talk about disclosure, but also closure. It's like, there's still something left open and there's something that hasn't been um, buttoned up, I guess is what I wanna say. Your angels and guides are talking about um, something being illuminated with that moon card. And it's like some new information, something new being illuminated or some kind of secret being, um, being shared and something new being done with that information. Something that hasn't been done in the past with that information. What is that? Here's the star card. So here is connecting in the astrals. There's some kind of astral connection here. Fire signs. Okay. I also want to ask about the trajectory and uh, I want to ask first what's happening now and into the near future. There's some kind of loyalty that happens now and into the near future. I really like that with uh, the Ace of Pentacles here because it's like there's something that you can ground into that's strong, safe and sound and comforting and there's loyalty here and that's happening now and into the near future it's like even um just like a safe place to be right now and then the trajectory two cards want to come out here the trajectory is talking about uh getting very very clear with your intention and having to overcome something having to overcome something of the heart, getting very clear with your intention, overcoming some kind of a heart situation. Huh? Okay, so I want to ask for advice. First, let's go with Aries. So Aries, I want to know what your advice is for this new moon energy. Aries, 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 what do your angels and guides want to tell you? Your angels and guides are talking about totally being able to receive emotional fulfillment around any kind of energy that you are experiencing right now. So some kind of emotional fulfillment. I don't think I talked about this earlier. This was your advice card earlier, and this is talking about internalizing a lot of things, but also the oracle is the observer. It's talking about observing a lot of things and looking within about how those things, how you react and respond to those things. And then Aries, your individual advice is talking about opening your heart chakra, seeing, seeing situations through love and you are loved. You also have, uh, this is like a new, this is a new opportunity in love also. This is a new offer for love. Okay, Leo. What kind of advice do your angels and guides have for you for March new moon energy? Your advice is make some wishes because your wishes are going to come true, come into fruition. Right now is a really good time to make wishes for you, Leo. What else? Oh my. 
So talk about being clear with your intention, cutting it, cutting away things that don't serve you, but also make sure the things that you're wishing are truly what it is that you desire. So I would say clear your space and clear your energy so you're not pulling in what other people want for you if you have other people's energy in your space. But making wishes, asking the universe for what it is that you want. And this is about really aligning in your truth. Okay, so Sagittarius, what is your advice from your angels and guides this new moon, March 2021? Nope. Here we go. Uh, again, somehow we have the two of pentacles up here. We also have focus. So this is focusing. This is stop juggling and focus. Okay, what else about that? Right. Look at the places where you are not aligned and not centered and not grounded. What makes you ungrounded? Why does it make you ungrounded? Look at these, look at the energy around what is feeling ungrounded. I want to ask for one more. Right. So these are patterns and themes that don't serve you. And it can literally be talking about patterns and themes that are in your energy that you can't even really see the programming that you're using that keep you in these stuck patterns. So this is a big deep dive into checking out what those are. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and ask the three questions. Uh, so you can pause and get your questions together, but I'm gonna go ahead and say yes or no, and also give a little bit of energy around what, what that question might be. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna say is a no. Um, this is also talking about uh, not being in tune or in complete connection with the emotional values around this question, um, or there are some emotions around whatever this question is that need to be discovered. I want to say self-discovered. It's like um, really evaluate what your emotions are around this and more energy around this. It's almost like what's next? What's next? What's coming? So when I get a no, it's almost like don't spend a whole lot of emotional time around what this was. Just go on to the next thing. There's something better. There's something better and bigger and more emotionally satisfying than this thing that you just asked about. Uh, let's see. And question number two. This is a yes. This is also have patience and give it the proper time and respect that it deserves. It's almost like saying, um, you know, when you make this wonderful thing for dinner and then it sits in the refrigerator overnight, the next day it's really, really good. It's like that. It's like, give this time to Sima. Okay, what other information around this? This is also talking about not being completely in alignment with your truth or what it is that you're thinking. It's like, there's some thoughts around this. It's almost like you wanna hurry, but you need to like re-strategize so that you're not trying to hurry this. Okay, question number three. I'm going to say this is a yes. And the reason why I say this is a yes is because it's about switching channels to get what it is that you want. So actually, I could initially say, no, something's not working and you need to switch channels to make it work. You need to switch the energy or switch the way you're perceiving it or looking at it in order to make whatever it is work. Okay, so what, what is the other energy around this? Right. There's something about um, not, it's like not taking an opportunity. It feels like it, there's some kind of opportunity that's being offered to you, but it's not even really, it's not real. It's not a real opportunity or it's a real opportunity, but they're not, whoever's offering it is not um portraying the opportunity the way it actually is. There, there are some missing pieces to this opportunity that they're not telling you about. So that's the switching of channels. So it's like, no, it's like get more information around this. Let me ask one more, right? If you just take it for what it is, it's gonna blow up, not immediately, but in a little bit. So make sure that you get a lot of information around what this opportunity is. And if you wanna make it work, you have to look at it in a different way. Otherwise, it's 
eventually going to implode or explode. And um, there just needs to be some more thinking around it. Ooh, okay. Uh, fire signs, thank you so much for being with me. I will put some more uh, readings out really soon. I hope you have a wonderful new moon and I will see you soon.